I'm Samir Shah with Envision Healthcare. I'm Chief Clinical Officer of Teleradiology and SVP. Our organization knew that we wanted a leading AI provider that would have no problems integrating with our existing platform and our existing PAC system that would help us not only with identifying based on pixel de density, computer vision, identifying pathology, but also had a mechanism to include it in a uh, quality assessment, as well as int introduce it into the actual workflow of the radiologist. ADOC has freed up time. Right now, radiology workflow is so busy that we are literally uh, like Lucille Ball in the episode where she's on an assembly line, trying to stuff chocolates into a box. She can't keep up. She's stuffing it in her mouth. She's, she's, she's doing whatever she can. That's, that's a typical life of a radiologist. Right now, patients are lost to follow up when findings are found. And the radiologist has so many tasks to do that they oftentimes can't focus on all the follow-up findings that have to be performed. What ADOC has realized is that they can interact with any format. They can interact with the EMR. They can go into the patient's chart. For example, if a pulmonary embolus is found, that's not the end of it. Has the patient been treated for that? Has the patient been put on, for example, oral medication to prevent clotting so that when they leave the hospital, that's already been initiated? Those are steps that human beings, we forget sometimes. We're not perfect, especially when we have larger and larger patient volumes to deal with. AI is never gonna forget to do that step. I think it's a very natural evolution of ADOC to get involved in that patient care coordination paradigm. And it's gonna be the next step in bringing radiologists more and more involved in patient care. And again, I think it's an amazing step for radiologists and it's improving outcomes. That's the best part of it.